Today on Risk Beards and Gear, we check out Sound ID Reference from Sonarworks. When it comes to mix calibration and mix accuracy correction software, I would say the most popular maker for that type of software is Sonoworks. Now, Sonoworks made huge leaps and bounds with the previous generation correction software reference four. Well, today we are going to talk about the next generation, the successor to reference four, Sound ID Reference from Sonoworks. Now, before we go any further, you can consider this a sponsored video as Sonoworks has asked me to show you guys this software. However, I want to note that I have used Sonoworks products for many, many, many years and thusly all thoughts and opinions are mine. Now at the foundation of making a very good mix, you have to be able to hear in order to mix. And sound accuracy, I would say, is the number one issue plaguing anyone that isn't in a dedicated recording studio, i.e. that's been a huge struggle of mine that I have talked about many times before here in my home studio. And Sonoworks is really leading the charge to eliminate bad listening environments. And today we're going to deep dive into Sound ID Reference, their latest software to kind of correct all of these bad listening situations. Now, if you're unfamiliar with the general uh, practice of how this software works, you basically take a reference microphone, in this case, a uh, Sonarworks microphone. This is my microphone as an example, and you hook it up to your interface and you basically let run the software and you shoot various positions and the microphone listens around your room to kind of get its bearings and to see what your room is sounding like and how it affects your frequencies coming out of your speakers. And if it knows that, it can then correct uh, with corrective EQ curves and a little bit more than that to let you listen accurately through your speakers in your particular environment. Now the Sonoworks microphone is $70. This software is $250, or you can buy both together for $300. However, just know that you can buy one or the other. You don't have to buy them both together. Now right out of the box, Sonoworks has built up an impressive library to allow you to correct for both your speakers and or your own set of headphones. In addition, to correcting those things, uh, Sound ID Reference also offers a ruler flat response across all audible frequencies and speaker calibration process that typically takes about 20 minutes. I will say compared to Reference 4, there is a lot more listening points for uh, Sound ID Reference, which is a good thing. Now, on top of being able to make on the fly adjustments, you can save those adjustments as presets. And those presets, you can switch between on the fly in real time as you wish. So if you wanna hear something with a little bit more low end, you can quickly do that. If you wanna hear it uh, uh, with a completely flat EQ curve, you can do that. If you wanna hear it with a little bit more top end hype, you can do that seamlessly and very, very quickly. So I am in Logic. Let's go ahead and just kind of poke around Sound ID Reference for a second. And I also wanna note real quick that I am in the plugin version. There is also a standalone version. However, for me, I work in video most of the time and the audio standard for video is 48K, which I am able to do in the plugin. I am not able to do that in the standalone version that is locked at 44.1, just something I thought I would note. So starting from left to right, we have our presets. We can add a new preset and then go and select from our drop down menu. However, right now I'm going to stick with my KH80 preset that I currently have since I am listening through my Neumann KH80s. Here we have the frequency response. This is just a visual representation of what is going on. Green is correction. Purple is what it was before the correction. And if we want to look at some other things, we can also look at phase and we can look at the limits of our listening device. Again, this is my KH80s. So I'm going to, I wanna know what I'm uh, ending up at for my EQ curve. And that's this, totally flat EQ curve for my KH80s. That's super, super cool. So down here on the bottom portion of Sound ID Reference, you will notice that I have a flat target. I can have a 
custom target, and I can also have a translation check. Now, the translation check, in my opinion, is worth the cost of emission right away, and it should also be its own plugin. However, we will get to that in just a second. We also have options down here for latency, um, the different filter options, uh, linear phase, mixed, or zero latency, just depends on your listening situation. Uh, listening spot disabled, this is going to um, compensate for your millisecond delay. We have limit controls, and then we have safe headroom enabled. Now I can quickly turn the calibration on and off. So right now I'm gonna go ahead and play uh, a mix in Logic and while this won't sound incredible to you guys at home, this is like putting on someone else's glasses. I'm going to quickly kind of go through these presets on the fly and switch between my Neumann KH80s and various headphone profiles. Even though I don't have you know, the headphones on me, I'm not going to switch in between, but this will give you an idea of how this works in practice. I'm gonna switch between my 650s and my KH80s. Let's see, I have my 650s right here, so if I had these in, and on, I would then I would then put these on and then be able to just switch between them right away. Also, this thing is around my neck and it's annoying. So you can see on my KH80 80 preset, I can on the fly kind of adjust what I what I want to hear or what I don't want to hear. In this case, I was kind of taking out some of the overall quack I was hearing at 750. Just as an example, I can adjust my gain, uh, the bell curve. I can do low shelf, bell and high shelf. And I can also adjust the Q if I want. Very, very handy. And then I can save that as another preset. How cool is that? Now let's go ahead and talk about translation check. Now translation check, this is really, really good. And this is what you would use to see how your mix sounds on other listening devices. MacBook, laptops, uh, your car, a smartphone, studio speakers or TV speakers. I mean, this part alone for me is is worth the price of admission. Like I said, this is incredible. So I'm gonna go ahead and play this mix and I'm gonna scroll through some of these translation checks and let you guys hear what I'm hearing. How cool is that? Um, I've done just a little bit of checking and seeing if this does actually translate, and it does. Um, I have some uh, AirPods, and I also went into my car, and it's awesome. It's really, really cool. I love this features. I like the ability to be able to favorite uh, different translation checks, uh, translation check profiles. Um, the MacBook, the MacBook uh, laptop, is amazing. And also, I love that there is a movie theater sound target, as recommended by the Society of Motion Picture and Television Engineers. I believe this was on reference four, but it definitely did not have all of these other additional profiles. Super, super cool. And there you have it. There is Sound ID reference from Sonoworks. I will link down below in the description if you would like additional information on this and all things Sonoworks. And with that, you've been wonderful, I've been fluff. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.